Okay guys, so uh, I'm going to be showing you today this uh, the contents of this mysterious box, as you can see here. Um, first things that you probably notice is that the box is actually quite well uh, damaged. You know, it's, it's a, um, it is made of ply and it looks like it's just got damp on the outside there and it's just stripped the first layer of the ply off. As you can see, that's quite consistent most of the way around. So it just needs a bit of a repair job to, uh, to do that, you know, just strip it all down take off the top layer, sand it, repaint it, put it back together and then just redo the markings on it to make it all back to how it would have been when it was new, you know, so that's the plan on that but um, yeah I'll show you what's inside anyway guys so uh, if I open up these clamps here and here and then open says me okay and there you go so um, I'll show you that so some of you guys that uh, know a bit about power transmission and distribution, you know, type of um, linesman, I guess you call it in America, uh, might recognize this type of device. It's actually um, known as like a um, high voltage measuring probe. So this is actually used to measure the um, the volts, the voltage, uh, voltages of the, uh, the power lines in distribution. You know, this one goes up to 10 kV. It says in the instruction manual that you can use it to measure 11 kV stuff but I haven't quite worked exactly how they do that out accurately unless they just want to know if it's basically off and on, which will, this will definitely do anyway. So, um, yeah, so what you basically use this for is when you go to isolate a, um, a, a, a line somewhere, you would uh, pull the lever down to isolate the actual the line, and then you would use this to measure basically if the, if the, the voltage has been switched off. So this will prove that. It's a bit like... Um, a bigger version of a multimeter really with a um a proving unit like what you get for most um proving voltage proving devices like um i think it's the gs38 voltage proving device this is the high voltage version of that this is called the um it's actually if i just take this as you can see it's got one of these uh carry that's like transportation bracketry and stuff in there just to hold it in place. It's designed to be taken in the back of a van around the country and the country so you know bumpy lanes. So yeah that's got the uh, the HVI proving unit in it. So that's made by Ferranti as you can see there. So um, I'll actually demonstrate that working just now. As you can see it's got the places to bind onto and test. So if I, um, if I take the earth cable out, that's the clamp there. And connect that onto the ah, put that on the way. I'll put that down. Let's put it over there for now. Right, and then connect the earth clamp onto there of the proving unit, which is the earth of it. Okay, and then take the meter out. Right now, this meter is uh, adjustable, as you can see the dial there on it, set in kilovolts, it has a, a scale for one, a 0 to 5 and 0 to 10, so that is dependent on what the position of the actual, um, this part of the meter is in, so if I was to push that, if I just undo this a little bit, and then push that up towards that side, where it says 5 kV, just swivel that a bit, there you go, just swivel it so it's nice and uh, all in line, and then tighten, tighten that little Screw back up again. Again. So that's set in the the five kV scale now on the the meter. So right, I'll take it out. So let's hold it properly. Hold on a second, guys. So there you go. That's the whole device in your hand. You know, it's pretty reasonable in size. So you can be assured that you're you're far enough away from the uh, the power lines when you're measuring. You don't want to get too close, you know. There's some obvious markings, and it's also the model number one, as you can see. So it says, there you go, guys, it says up to 11 kV, and I think it just proves whether it's off or not, really, because this only goes up to 10 kV, as you can see there. Um, I think it's had other markings on it for the date, so the last tested in 1970, so yeah, it's fairly old, but works just as good, just as good as uh, it would have done back then, so... Pretty cool, but we'll uh, we'll try this out on the tester now anyway, guys. So I'll just hold this up. 
put it up onto there for a moment. So what the tester actually does, it um, takes the DC, it takes 12 volts in, it's supposed to be, the batteries are supposed to be in the top there, but I've taken those all out because they've corroded, they're quite crusty and I throw those out. So as you can see, I've got the external battery links connected onto there and that goes into a um, 12 volt thin acid battery in the back there. So I've got it powered off that at the moment. So the actual unit, takes 12 volts, it puts it through a um, what is called a vibrator and the vibrator um, switches the input voltage at about 50 hertz, you know, and then that will actually, um, inside there, behind that part there, is a, um, a transformer and that transformer, when it's switched on and off and on, will actually generate that high voltage as you can see on the, uh, the markings there, that will focus. Come on. 3.5 to 4 kV, that says guys, you have to take my word for it, just want to focus. So um, this will actually put between 3.5 and 4 kV out of this unit, and that will actually go up out of there. That's actually a switch which turns the unit on when you press it down. Up out of there, up the voltage dividing resistor, which is all the way down inside there, and it will poke out from here on that side. It will go through that little spring, as you can see there's a spring in there, which allows you to actually move the, uh, the dial around so there's a spring and then that'll go into the the volt meter there and then after it's finished in there it'll come back out through that little strap into the earth connection cable and then back down all the way back around and into back into the unit for negative so that's how it works really so um we'll press that down into there and you'll hear it start vibrating now guys it's the vibrator that will make the sound so as you can hear it's actually working now and that's going up the voltage divider into the scale i have to read this upside down a second guys so this is between 3.5 to 4 volt uh, 4 kv so that's actually um quite accurate you know so that's that's actually working pretty well so yeah that's 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 proving it's functional guys so we'll take that off there now if you just lift it off to press the switch inside and then that's the proving unit proved and then we'll just disconnect this. And that's it, proven. So um, yeah, so what I actually want to use this for, because uh, its original intention is to actually measure high voltages, you know, so it's actually designed for, it's all there, it's designed for measuring up to 11 kV, as it says on there. So that means I can use this as a, uh, a chicken stick, which also has the, um, the capabilities of measuring the volts as well so it's it's very very safe due to the nature of the construction you know and the bonus is it actually measures the volts up to 10 kV as it says there so I can actually measure basically what I've got on there so this is going to be my new 10 kV volt chicken stick really so that should be pretty cool so I've actually got a test um, set up on the bench here for a, a video similar to what I did a while ago which actually involved a microwave oven transformer you know guys these things are pretty dangerous about as dangerous as they come for stuff you find around the home for high voltage so uh, I remember doing a vault a, a video on this kind of um, this kind of transformer a while ago and Ant pointed out um, that this um, my chicken stick my original chicken stick if I can find it in the uh, there it is is actually black and he said that uh, this black could actually be um, made using carbon, which obviously is pretty well conductive, as most of you guys know. So I took his word for it. You know, there's no point. There's no point saying no. It's not, and like getting a shock with it and whatnot. So that's an old chicken stick and won't be used as a chicken stick anymore. So that'll be uh, put back and used as nylon. It's actually nylon, guys. So. You know, you see this stuff used everywhere, but it's uh, it's black, so therefore cannot be used. It's the wrong color, so we won't be using that just in case it is using carbon as the pigment in there. So that'll go back in the bin and won't be used again for that. So yeah, so I plan on using the new chicken stick to measure this circuit set up here. So I've got the microwave oven transformer going to the spark gap. The spark gap probably won't fire at that distance. It's uh, far too far away for this. The transformer puts out 2 kV at an input of 240 volts, and uh, I've already worked out a few 
um, resistances there just in case things change if it was to catch on fire and I need to check the test to see if it actually is still okay with internal windings but this is probably not likely to happen today anyway so um, yeah it's also a um, quite an old transformer as you can see it's made in Japan came out of an old microwave that they've thrown out of work so I quickly whipped that out of the bin and stripped out the, the necessary parts you know got some few few bits and pieces that's just for dissection really that's not for use and um, got the turntable motor there that's quite handy uh, there's the timer with the bell on the end of it there's the diode high voltage diode and also the high voltage capacitor in there um, there, there's, there's the date code guys, so it's 1983, made in Japan, so it's pretty cool, you know, set for about 2,000 volts, no PCBs, you know, quite important that, so you don't get cancer from this capacitor, which is good, if you like that, it's also a good make, so um, yeah, that's a key for those parts, bits and pieces for playing around, but uh, we're interested in this part today, just the microwave oven transformer, so uh, without further ado, I will actually reset this meter this is measuring the input volts into the transformer so we've got the variac set to zero volts there so we'll switch her on okay line filter there and uh, we'll close oh wait um let's this let's, let's hook up the um the stick first so if i take the volt stick now the probe Place it there a second. Right, let's see. Bear with me a second, guys. It's going to make my earth connection. So I know I've got a pretty good earth connection on my line filter here. As you can see, that's a um, like a stuffing plug there. It's made of um, nickel plated brass. So that's a very good earth connection. I know I've put an earth connection, very good earth connection inside my line filter box. So that's that's very usable. So I'll clamp onto that. But big old clamp, so that's, that's very good, that's on there, not going to get much better than that, and uh, right, so we're ready to go pretty much, I think I'll, um, what I'll have to do is try and juggle a few things at the same time, so we got 1.3, that's the input volts for the transformer, so if we close up the safe block there, so that's that's all dangerous now guys, so now that's, that's all uh, closed down, we want to Turn the voltage up to 240, that's its design voltage in. So we'll take that up. Going up to 240, 220, 30, 40. Okay, so this is set, this stick now is set into the 5 kV, so we're using the, the top range there. And also, another good thing about these meters, I'll show you a second, is that uh, you can actually twist the dial so it's actually on an angle now so you can actually read it a bit easier which is great you know so 240 volts in and I'll touch on to the, the live side of that the other side set down to earth on the transformer so we'll touch onto there and as you can see so that's around about 2 kV just below outputting which is quite good you know that's quite this stick seems pretty accurate so it's designed to be outputting and uh, all working fine. Ooh, slipped off. It's a little bit. I think I'm going to have to make something for the end of the stick to make it a little bit easier. That that thing on the end isn't so. Uh, I'll take it off and show you guys. That thing's not so easy to actually uh, attach onto things, and also don't really want to ruin that. So I'm going to have to make something which is like a um, just like a pointy end for it, really, so it's easier just to line up on things instead of having to go onto strange places to actually measure it. So yeah, that's pretty cool. That's actually measuring now. And so yeah, it's 2 kV, just under, thereabouts output, so yeah, this chicken stick seems to be pretty good, you know, it's quite functional, it's working pretty well, pretty safe, pretty old, but it does the job, you know. Got all the hanging up piece of leather on there, and whatnot, so uh, if I just place that down for a second, the only thing about it is it, it is massive, but that's a good thing really when it comes to uh, chicken sticks, you know. So... Yeah, that's my new chicken stick, guys, as you can see. That's it in full shot. I will actually turn that transformer up a second, just in case. can never be too too safe with these things, you know. Danger. <laughs> but yeah, that's pretty cool. So I'll be using that from now on for anything up to 10 kV. 
it says the, the breakdown voltage for these are around about 40 kV. Probably goes a bit over, but I probably wouldn't want to take it into that kind of round anyway, mainly because the uh, I wouldn't want I wouldn't want to blow up my 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 nice meter on there and whatnot. So um, yeah, well, I think that's all of it. So I hope you guys uh, hope you guys like that and whatnot, and you'll be seeing the, this uh, this vault chicken stick in my uh, videos from now, really, which involve anything that needs chicken stick. So. Hope you guys enjoyed and uh, see you all again. Cheers.